What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get nice hash miner installed on your gaming PC so you can start mining some cryptocurrency. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a folder on our desktop which we can use to house the mining software. So we're going to go ahead and right click the desktop, select new and then click on folder. Now. In theory, you can name this whatever you like, it doesn't matter, but to keep things nice, simple and organised, I'm just going to call mine NiceHash. Next, we have to change some things in the Windows settings in order to make sure that this folder does not get flagged as a virus once we install the software. So, we're going to click on the Start menu and type in Virus, and the first option will be Virus and Threat Protection. If you guys want to do it manually, you can go to Settings, Windows Security, and then Virus and Threat Protection Settings. So we're going to go down to manage settings underneath the virus and threat protection settings tab and scroll down till we hit the exclusions tab. Here we're going to click add or remove exclusions and we're going to add an exclusion. And as we're working with a folder here, we want to select folder and make sure we select the folder that we have just created. In my case, it is called NiceHash. Click yes. And now it is officially excluded from the virus protection, which is exactly what we want. Now, next you want to go to the NiceHash website and create an account as a NiceHash is account based. I will leave a link in the description to the website. Uh, I've already gone ahead and made an account. So once an account is made, it will send you through to the dashboard uh, for your NiceHash account. So uh, up here we have a bunch of tabs. I'll just quickly take you through them. The dashboard, you can see your active and inactive rigs. Uh, as well as your watch list. As you can see, I've got one rig active and one rig inactive. The mining tab shows the devices that are currently mining, profitability, that sort of thing. You've got the exchange where you can go ahead and exchange your crypto. You are not technically mining Bitcoin, but your hash power gets paid out in Bitcoin. Um, as you will see here, the majority of what you mine well, mine will be Bitcoin, but the good thing about NiceHash and the thing I like is you can go ahead and sell that Bitcoin into a whole lot of currencies. You've got Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Tether. They haven't got everything, but from one thing I found is they have free uh, transfers to Coinbase. So I think they actually keep really similar coins supported that Coinbase does. At least whenever a Coinbase supports a new coin, NiceHash tends to support the coin as well. Now, to continue this tutorial, we're going to want to click on the mining tab. And at the top right, there's going to be a button that says download miner or add ASIC. And that's what we want to do. We want to download the software onto our PC so we can start mining. Now, there's a bunch of different software that you can go ahead and install. We have NiceHash OS if you want to actually install this as your primary operating system. We have an option to connect an ASIC device, and then we have two miners. Now, there's Quick Miner and there's the Full Miner. Quick Miner only works for NVIDIA, and it's just really bare bones. There's not a lot you can do with it. So, for today's tutorial, we're going to be just downloading the full NiceHash Miner, which also can switch algorithms and tends to give you the best profitability. We're going to check I understand uh, and have made an antivirus exception, which we have, and we're going to go to the GitHub download. Now we've got two downloads. We've got the installer and the zip package. For this tour, we're going to be uh, working with the zip package. We're going to go ahead and select that, and you will see that it will go ahead and download. We're now going to head to our file explorer, select downloads, and here we have the nice hash miner Windows setup which we're going to go ahead and right click as it is a zip file, select extract all, and we're going to not save it to the default destination path. We're going to select browse and select the folder that we created and excluded earlier. Select folder and click extract. Now you will see that in our NiceHash folder, we have a bunch of files, including the NiceHashMiner.exe, which is the application. So we can now go ahead and double click on this file. So whenever you want to go ahead and launch the software, open up your NiceHash folder and just double click the NiceHash Miner application. And it will set you, tend you to the setup. So we're going to accept their terms of service, choose our language English. Uh, and now we can go ahead and log in, uh, which 
is a really easy process of just hitting the uh, login button. Um, now, what I'm actually going to do is not log in. I'm going to scan the QR code because I actually already have the nice hash app set up. So I'm going to scan it with my phone. Uh, but you can go ahead and just click on login and log in with the details of the account you just made. But to speed up this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and scan the QR code and then confirm the scan. So it will now go ahead and install all of the plugins. Now, I already have NB Miner installed, uh, so I'm going to accept NB Miner. Uh, I do not want to go ahead and use XMRig. This is basically so that it can use multiple different miners. It can use the NiceHash miners to mine, NB Miner to mine, and that way it will go ahead and switch depending on what is the most profitable. So we are now in the tab. We're going to start off by pressing the Settings tab at the top. Here we have our worker name. I'm going to change this to 2070 as that is the device we're going to have to, or that's the device I'm going to use it. Now the important one up here is your wallet address, okay? So currently this has saved my data from when I first set it up, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this and pretend, oh, you know what, I'm going to set it to YOLO and pretend, oh, you know what, it just doesn't let me change it. I'm going to show you guys how to change this because it needs to match up with your NiceHash account. So heading back over to your dashboard, you want to click on the mining tab and up at the top right we have the download miner software now up at the top left we have mining address and here it will give you an address now you want to make sure you copy this address and paste it into that box under wallet address that way that you're guaranteed that your mining software is actually mining to your account. This will be set as a default address when you first set it up, which means you're not actually going to be mining to your account. You're going to be mining to a random NiceHash address. So make sure you do this step. Now over to Benchmark, uh, you can see that we have our GPU and we have a bunch of different algorithms. So we're going to go ahead and just click Start Benchmark. And what it's going to go ahead and do is simply benchmark uh, all of the different algorithms to see which one is the most profitable for us to be mining and it will then go ahead and profit switch based off of that. It is recommended that you go ahead and don't do anything else other than the benchmark. Uh, so don't run over, have any games open or any other software uh, simply so that you can make sure that the numbers you're getting are as accurate as possible and thus NiceHash can predict more clearly what is going to be the most profitable algorithms for you to be mining. In this case, I'm just doing it for tutorial, so these speeds aren't actually the speeds I'm gonna usually get. I usually get quite a bit higher, but this is just to demonstrate, uh, you know, how to go through the benchmarking process. We've also got the devices tab. This shows pretty much the same thing as the benchmark tab, except it gives you a bit more information about your temps and your load and your fan speed. Um, and also what your current profitability is and your unpaid balance. The dashboard really is the only place you're going to really need to worry about. In the mining software, the only thing you need to have set or set up and changed is that mining wallet address. You have to make sure you change that to your wallet address. After that, Yes, you can do the benchmarking to make sure you're mining the most profitable thing. Or say you just want to mine a single algorithm, turn everything off, bar one algorithm, totally fine as well. The second most important thing, other than setting the wallet address, is this sp sort of pause and play button. When you want to stop mining, you click pause and it stops mining. When you want to start mining, you click start and it begins to mine. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, finish these benchmarks. I'm going to turn off the algorithms I do not want to be mining. And we're going to go ahead and just click start mining and it will continue the benchmark so we can go ahead and speed up those benchmark processes. Now it will not update instantly, but eventually you should see, ah, here we go, that your rig has popped up in your uh, nice hash dashboard. So if you go to dashboard, you can see we now have two active rigs and zero inactive rigs. And under mining, you can see we have our rig name with our status, benchmarking, the temps, the load, the fan, and its profitability. Once it is mined, it will go ahead and be sent to your wallet. You can see your total assets here, which is currently in Bitcoin, but you can go ahead and sell it to any of these current coins that they support and then transfer it. Now, I would not recommend holding your balance in NiceHash. This is a 
hot address in a way it is an account tied in theory there is a chance that NiceHash's accounts and servers could be hacked. It is unlikely, but it is possible. It is not a secured cold wallet. So the way I do it is I use the Exus uh, wallet. Uh, this is what I've used in previous mining tutorials as well, uh, and what I recommended to you guys. And it's what I personally use as well. I will leave a link below to go ahead and download it. Um, I would recommend getting a Exodus account set up and or wallet set up and working and the way i do it is every time i reach a certain threshold i will pay out everything from my nice hash wallet over to my exodus wallet for the long term hold this way i know that all of my funds are safe and secure in that wallet rather than being somewhat exposed on the nice hash exchange now that's not saying the nice hash exchange is unsafe it just isn't as safe as a wallet now you can see that our benchmarks have completed and we are now mining and that's why we have this second pop-up because this is the actual mining software running uh, this sort of looks similar to if you were just running something like MB miner or T-Rex miner to mine directly so if you want to stop mining you simply press the pause button it gets rid of the miner and you can see it has stopped mining and if you want to start mining you just go ahead and press the start mining button once again it is really that easy with nice hash sheet if we press start mining the miner pops up and we are mining again. So the way I do it usually, when I'm using my computer, I turn it off. When I'm not using it, I turn it back on. But congratulations, guys, you are officially mining with nice hash fields free to put any questions you have down below in the comments. Uh, I know with this sort of process, there's always these small things that can go wrong and you might need some help with it. So feel free to contact me uh, down below in the comments or send me a personal message and I will go ahead and help you out with any issues you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are blowing up the other videos on my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.